Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm a V King here with another great video for you today. So I know uh, my last video was kind of boring because uh, to be honest, I haven't been putting much time into my free energy ideas because I was busy looking for a job and it was taking me a minute. But now I'm set and I'm back in action. I'm ready to go. So um, what I'm here to show you today is my new design my new coil design okay so I am just giving you a, a nice close-up view of it here okay so as you can see it there there is a DC motor with some neodymium magnets on this little uh, thing that I bobbled together but it works very well it actually spins at very high rpms uh the goal is to show you guys how much voltage this thing will produce at the dead center of the coil so the coil itself is wound clockwise there's two coils one is wound clockwise and one is wound counterclockwise so what this does is it makes the magnetic fields collide with one another in specific ways that will uh, either enhance the amperage or the voltage. But what I've noticed with this coil design is that it also enhances the frequency. So when I have these two coils here, uh, just one coil will produce the normal frequency that the motor is producing. Uh, so if it's uh, rotating at, say, 60 hertz worth of RPMs, then the second coil winding doubles the frequency. So you'll be spinning 60 hertz through the center, and the second coil wound on here going counterclockwise somehow makes this double in frequency, and I'll be able to show you that as well. Um, so I'm going to get this wired up. And uh, for those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to do so because I'm going to show you a lot of other cool shit, I mean stuff, that uh, you will want to show your, your friends, family, and you might want to make an artwork out of it yourself since this is all Tesla based discoveries. So, um, here we go. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, and, um, yes, I am still on my path to free energy. I'm just doing it one step at a time right now. Like I said, just got in my job. I'm about to end all these crazy YouTubers that have been trying to disprove free energy exists. So, that being said, let's get to work. And that will be starting with this. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so, first things first, uh, I'm just going to show you a little close-up here. I have the, uh... There we go. Alright, so I have these wires right here twisted together. Oh my gosh. Alright, now I got this all set up and working. <laughs> I have uh, this twisted together here, uh, the coils, uh, beginning end to uh, the end point of the second coil, so that way it creates the voltage and the frequency amplification effect. I'm going to hook up my leads right now so I can show you what the resistance of the coils are. Alright, so I got my two leads hooked up here, and I'm just going to show you what resistance I have. Oops, let me turn that off. That's measuring continuities too. Alright, so I have 19 ohms. 19.8 ohms. So that whole coil there is only 19.8 ohms, which isn't too bad. Yeah, it actually means it's using a very, very little amount of wire. So I'm going to turn that off here. Actually, I'm going to turn it to volts. I'm going to show you how many... 
volts it produces if I finger spin it. Let me get this this voltmeter set up here. Yeah, get this little bugger set up so you guys can see it. Oh man, this ain't good. Hold on one second here. All right, so I'm gonna get show you what the the voltage produces just with a flick of the finger here. Look at that, 200 millivolts right there. All right. Let's turn it to the frequency. Okay. Oh. There we go. We got 12 hertz on that one. 9 hertz. It's weird. Usually the frequency is much higher than that. It's like 1 hertz. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it's just because I'm not spinning fast enough. But anyways, you've seen that I just produced a couple hundred millivolts there with just one little spin. So that means that it's got a lot of potential, which is a good thing. All right, so what I'm going to do next <clears throat> is I'm going to solder... We're going to solder a, a couple wires onto our motor here. And by doing that, we can take a little double A battery and see how many volts we can really generate from this little thing. All right, we got our little uh, motor hooked up and ready to go now. I just test the resistance of it. It works just fine. So now I just got to find a little double A battery. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is just uh, this is a little aluminum ribbon for soldering onto solar panels, so it's very convenient to use for this motor and doing little easy projects and not worrying about your wire snapping all the time. All right, so I got my leads hooked back up here, so I can show you my resistance right now. It's at 20 ohms instead of 19, unlike before, but whatever, it's not that big of a difference. Uh, all right, so we're gonna change it to the volt setting here. Uh, let me find a battery. I'm gonna pick that up, and I should be able to. Yeah, it should work. All right, so I got myself hooked up right now. I am going to um, turn on this light setting so you can see my. All right, so here we go. I don't have it all the way strapped down, so it's uh, it's a little bit, a little bit crazy. So we get 800 millivolts right there. And if I hook it up to a transformer, it works even better. It uh, produces uh, 2.4 volts with a 1.5 volt battery. So here we go. Oh, come on. All I got to do is ignite. Huh. Well, that's strange. It was producing twice the frequency before. Maybe it's out of tune, and I gotta get the get the coils back in tune. This was producing 120 volts instead, of, or 120 hertz instead of 60 hertz, but now it seems to be different. Seems to be a little bit different. Or maybe it was 30 hertz, and then it was producing 60 hertz, and I just got my numbers off. So one coil produces 30 hertz, the other coil produces 60 hertz, and I think you just witnessed that. So this is a 3 volt battery. All right. Now, I don't know if my amp may, if my amp's working or not. Okay, it is. Good. Let's see how many amps we can produce. What the... Oops. Let's try that. No, nothing. Okay, 
let's try uh maybe not yet. Well oh, my ant meter's not trying to read it. I don't know why. Huh. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, so, for those of you that haven't uh, seen my Etsy shop yet, I'll have the link below in the description. It's, uh... it's awesome the way these coils work. And if you have an oscilloscope or a frequency generator, sine wave generator, then I'm really curious to see what my coils would be able to do under one of those especially if you hooked up two different frequencies into the into coil one and coil two and made the frequencies react at the uh, center of the coil um, I'm gonna get off for now guys I will have an update for you soon so please check out my Etsy shop I will have this listed in there for you uh, I've made a couple sales with a few of my other coil designs I've made so far, and people seem to be loving them because they're unique. They're not like a standard 360 degree coil. They are angle at a time made coil that form a natural center point, or what I'd call a zero point f space, which allows magnetic fields to be harvested like a dream catcher so all right guys i will have a f working free energy video on my next video tutorial yeah peace